What's going on, people? I want to talk about something that I've never heard anyone really speak on. And I'm not going to be long with this video. I was speaking to a friend of mine that lives in a neighborhood. When they moved into this neighborhood, it was predominantly white people. As time went on, When blacks moved in, of course, whites moved out. Now this is a neighborhood that's predominantly black people. And I think there's only maybe one other white family that lived on that street. But this white family was a family that all the girls dated black men and all the females in there had biracial children. The only biracial couple that was in that family was the mother and the father. They both were white. But when it comes to the daughters and the son, they all dated black people. And they had biracial children. But then this white family moves in and this is a white family that don't look like they belong on this street. Now, it's a nice street, but it's in the hood. On this street, police is always there, loud cookouts, cars driving by speeding, loud music blaring out of it. You know how they put the speakers in the back of the car and just blast it so that everybody in the whole town can hear them. They're like cross town, but everybody else on the other side of town can hear their music because they have it blasted so loud and the, and the bass is so harsh that it sounds like the car is falling apart. All you hear is the car vibrating. And you can't make out anything you can't hear any instruments you can't hear no lyrics all you hear is that distorted bass and the car that sounds like it's about to fall apart but they're always fighting there's drugs there's uh, now you hear shooting on that street gun violence so there's would appear to do what appears to be a well-to-do white family that look like they belong maybe in the suburbs. They don't look like they would live around black people, but yet they move into this house. They don't know anybody on the street, no neighbors, they don't get along with nobody. They they stay to themselves. And the only time you see this family is when they come out going wherever they're going, maybe they're going to work. So either they're going to work or wherever they're going and they come back. The daughter, they keep the daughter in the house. They stay in the house and you don't see these people. You don't see them at all. So then it made me wonder, why do white folks hide in the black community? I'm sure that in just about every town, in just about every city, there's white people that hide in the black community. They stay to themselves, they get up, they go to work, they mind their business, they don't come out, how you doing neighbor, and they don't try to get to know anyone on that street or that block. They back their car in the back, maybe on the side of the house, but maybe towards the back where the garage is. You don't see these white people. They stay to themselves. They're quiet. So it made me wonder, why do white people hide? And I'm not talking about all white people. And I know that there's people that, you know, they live where they feel comfortable, okay? But there's a certain 
number of white people that hide or that appear to hide out in the black community because no one would really expect or suspect them in the neighborhood because see black people don't really ask questions like white people do. See if I were to just drive through a white neighborhood don't even have to be a suburban neighborhood just where white people populate. If I were to move in or drive through a white neighborhood it's almost guaranteed that I'm going to be stopped. It's guaranteed that white people or the people in that neighborhood will notice me. I will stick out like a sore thumb and they would question why am I there and they will call the police and the police will pull me over and say we've had a rash of break-ins around this neighborhood so we're just doing random stops can I see your license registration why are you out here who are you going to see they start asking questions so it's not that easy for black people to hide out in white communities but white people can hide out in black communities and no one would suspect anything no one would ask questions black people would say oh they're quiet they don't bother nobody they mind their business but my question is why are they there just like they question why a black family or a black man would move into a predominantly white neighborhood and then when that black family move into that neighborhood the white people start moving out but when white people move into a black neighborhood black people don't ask any questions they continue on with their daily lives they don't notice they'll see them oh they're nice they don't pay no attention to it. So it's real easy for white people that's it's easy for white people that's not legit or that's got a criminal background or someone that's hiding from the police to set up in a black neighborhood. So why do white people hide in black neighborhoods? You don't try to get to know nobody in the neighborhood you stay to yourself but it's all black people with the exception of one white family that's got a bunch of biracial kids and the dudes that come over the house are black you know so you see a lot of dudes sitting on the porch smoking blunts or spliffs and whatnot drinking they got their music going on but you got this one lily white family that may live across the street from them that never says a word to anybody could that be a spy or could it be that they're hiding out because no one would ever suspect them being in the hood so has anybody else ever noticed that will you have white people that appear to be hiding in the black community it's easy for white people to hide out in the black community because no one would ever suspect it no one asked questions there's not too many curious people in the black community so it's easy for white people to hide in the hood but blacks trying to hide out in the suburbs will stick out like a sore thumb and they find out your name and they will investigate you as a matter of fact the real estate agent that sold you the house you have people in the neighborhood that have already had conversation with that real estate agent and got all the information that they really need to research you so they already have an idea of who you are when you first move in there because nowadays nothing is really hidden from people so why do white people hide out in the hood, in the black community, in the ghetto? So feedback and tell me what you think. Until next time.
I'm fearless.